Good morning. Hello there. I'm Barb. This is my channel, B Rex PR Goddess One. And uh, right now I'm taking a five minute break. I'm waiting for my coffee to cool down. And uh, then I'm going to drink it. Yeah. This is my channel. Like I said, B Rex PR Goddess One. Uh, we often unbox things. And sometimes we just chat. Sometimes we do makeup um, because I'm a very slow makeup artist. And that's fine. I'm not a pro. I didn't say I was a pro. I've had a love of makeup since I was a small child. And uh, I love all things beauty and fashion, but I also love science and history and archaeology and the arts, you know? So, like, it's not just makeup. There's way more to it. But you didn't come here to hear me talk about how I find the Permian Mass Extension fascinating. You came here to watch me take shit out of the box. So let's get to it. I'm going to start with the envelope from Ulta. We are all aware that 21 Days of Beauty have been a thing for years now. And this is, I told myself I wasn't going to do it. And I have no self-control. And this is what happens. So in here is a ton of lipstick. And some lip liners. One of these has a history already. I'm just saying. So I'm just going to take these out and talk to you about them. And you know how the 21 Days of Beauty thing goes. It's always, I'm just putting that in the trash, half off the specials. It's just the way they do it. So they had uh, Black Owned Beauty as one of the days. And at that time, I was able to get a couple of things that had caught my eye or that I already have some stuff from that I'm very interested in. So first brand was Luoma Beauty. I have two of the lipsticks already. I have the shade Maya and I have the shade Tracy. So I went back for these. We have Angela. And there's two different Angela ones I've noticed. I don't know, because I know these are all named after famous uh, black women, which is fine. So Angela, this Angela that I got was not the deep neutral. This one was the chestnut. It's going to look great on me. And they all have a magnetic closure. And they all say, a badass does not talk about being a badass. So this is the Badass Icon Matte Lipstick in Angela. I got it for half off. So it was like 12 bucks. Love these lipsticks. You know who got me addicted to this brand and these lipsticks? Ipsy. And Boxy. Because I got one from each. So this shade here is Tina. Now Tina is not going to be everybody's thing. I love this color. I have always loved this shade of like bright, fiery, crimson, red with a little orange undertone. And I have had certain people sit there and uh, talk about how I, it looked like Ronald McDonald in this shade. Girl, get over yourself. I have the skin tone to pull it off. It's just it has to be done with a subtle eye or else it looks crazy. So I know how not to look like a clown. And in the end, if I like it. Fuck you all. So what I think is interesting is that Uoma Beauty, their lipsticks have the brand name on it. And then they have two words in, I think, Nigerian. I don't know which Nigerian language, Igbo or what. But they say Soro and Soke. And they even have the friggin' dots under the O's of Soro and the apostrophes over Soke. The O and the E in Soke. And I know I'm probably butchering it, but again... I don't speak the language, so, and I don't have someone here to teach me how to pronounce it correctly, so I'm doing the best I can off the top of my head. Okay, so the third shade I got was Nina, which is after Nina Simone, I'm sure. I'm not sure which Angela that Angela is supposed to be, Angela Bassett or a different Angela, because again, there were two Angela shades. Tina, I'm assuming, is Turner. Nina is this beautiful dark brown. Nina Simone, oh, such a beautiful color. They had a Whitney shade, but it was like a deep, hot pink and fuchsia you color it. I'm not. Sade. Anybody who knows me knows I love Sade. I do. I love her. And that's the red. I already have the Diana red. And I don't know if the Tracy is supposed to be Tracy Ellis Ross, her daughter. But if it is, that's amazing. So these are the four I got. I know it's a little pricey. I don't care. I wanted these lipsticks and paying 20 something dollars a piece for them wasn't going to happen. So the next brand I got stuff from was Juvia's Place. 
I know I had said I was kind of pissed about the fact that when they sold out of the one color, instead of giving me the offer to wait for it to be back ordered or to send me a different color, they just didn't tell me shit. And then when I had to go after them, I finally got a response of, well, here's a $5 coupon, you know, to make up for the $5. Yeah, but you're not making up for the fact that I had to spend tax on it too. So yeah. So here is the color I had tried to buy because they're lip liners. Again, their stuff was half off. So this came out to the five bucks. So I had to basically buy it again. This is Lux Liner in the shade Cola, which is supposed to be like a light brown. This brown will work well with some of the Juvia's lipsticks, and it'll also work well with some of the Uoma lipsticks. Though I do have a Uoma uh, lip liner called Maya, as in Maya Angelou, and it's a, meat, a lighter brown than even that. I did get the ruby one, which was, I was telling Juvia's, like, just send me the red one. That's the one that's in stock. I'll take that one instead. Just send it to me. We'll be even, Steven. I don't care. And they never answered or responded to that. So I was kind of pissed off at their customer service. So now I got the red one too, to boot. And I got four lipsticks. Now I have a couple of their lipsticks already. But from the nudes, I got two from the peaches. So I got the shade Me, which is this color. And I got the shade In Vogue, which is supposed to be that color. So let's see what they actually look like. Because peach, while I love peach and the color on like actual clothing and nail polish looks really pretty on me. And in blush. For some reason, peach tone lipsticks tend to look gray on me. So I'll have to try this one and see. I love the cut of the shape. But as you can tell, mine's already messed up. Straight from the tube. Uh, okay, I get to be the host of the meeting. Yay. We're almost done. Let's just email. The meeting's not for another 15 minutes and I'm allowed a fucking coffee break. This is the shade me. Let's open this one. This one's deeper. It should definitely look fine. And we're flooded with natural light, not a single light up above. Um, and yes, my house is dirty and no, right now I don't have the energy to give rats ass. Okay, so this was from the nude mauves. This is the shade 2020. Pandemic in a tube. And she's damaged, Unc. Oh, she's broken. Yeah, we're going to have to take pictures of this. Because, like, that's not acceptable. At all. So, yeah. And there's just shit all over and shit in there. But... You know me, just add it to the list of shit I have to call about, like my fucked up wrong form from the short-term disability, and also calling Mohila about the fact y'all can't count, and how are you counting this, because. So this shade is from the Reds, this is called, uh, from the Red Cherry, this is Afrique, which, oh, I love me some red lipsticks after years of being traumatized by them, by people who were supposed to be having your back. So I'm quite happy that out of all of these, I had eight lipsticks and two lip liners. Only one is damaged. And then over here was the next day. And this was two lip liner colors. This is an orange, which will go good with some of these brownish ones. And also with Tina. This is a green lip liner because I have one called Bunny from ColourPop, but it's rock hard now, so it has to go. Then I guess I guess this will be another bag because something's missing in here. Yep. So then we had some of these jelly ColourPop eyeshadows. Gel eyeshadow. Yeah. So I got the shade Buzzy, which is supposed to be a coral peach. These I'm going to swatch real fast on my hand if I can open them. Ah, those little edges in these boxes be tripping. This is what I mean by those edges on the boxes. They always catch and then they want to rip. That's unacceptable. Keep the lid on to lock in the magic. So that's this color. We're going to put a little bit out there. Now these remind me of the ones from... See, that's what it looks like sheared out a little bit. You can see the sparkle. These remind me of the ones you can get from MAC. Now the MAC ones are like 20 something dollars a piece. These are $9 each. 
but I had a coupon, so they came out to like, I think seven and change a piece. This shade is called, I don't even know. Okay, so this one here is called Buzzy. This coral peach with the gold flip, as they call it. And you can look these up right online. I got these at Ulta, like I said. This one is called Shiny Penny. I wonder if this is the one that I, there's one of them that I tested in Ulta the other day when I was there with my best friend, my college bestie. And uh, I can't remember the name of it. This might be it. Shiny Penny. That's before I even like rub it in. There's two more in the lipstick. So one of the lipsticks didn't come yet. Yeah. So I got this reminds me of Mac Blue Brown Pigment. We've just been recycling the same colors in cosmetics. Really, there's no virgin birth in cosmetics. Just like there's no virgin birth in rock and roll. This next one is called Hallucinogenic. Hallucinogenous. Sorry. Come on. Such a pain in the ass. So Hallucinogenius is a violet with a purple flip. Pink and blue flip, sorry. According to, these are the, like what I remember from the descriptions. I guess I have like ADD. I guess I didn't put enough buzzy on because compared, you really can't see it. And this is a lot. I did not expect to have that much product come out. So all I have to do is, <sighs> this wants to fucking close right. Come on. Go on, you'll go in. Just smear this over the lid and we're good to go. In fact, maybe we'll do that right now. I mean, because that was way more than a swatch amount. So that's what it looks like on the eyes. That's literally no primer. Not bad. I'm happy. I'm going to get the last one of these, and then I'll get the lipstick. This one is called Sage Bundle. Let's see if we can open you. And we're kind of running out of fingers. So this was the, the penny one. I'm really kind of feeling it. With its blue brownness. With a hint of green. Okay, sage bundle. Let's go. This looks more white. Or beige champagne. Ecru eggshell. Cream, candlelight, ivory, whatever the fuck. So this is what the color looks like. And that's what the flash looks like. So I'm not even going to swatch that one. Although I am curious what it's going to look like on my skin tone. So I'm going to take as little as possible on the pinky. And let's pop this puppy back in there. It looks like a little opalized flex. Because this is it. And I know these are the most unorganized, random ass swatches you can imagine. And I'm okay with that because, again, I'm waiting for my coffee to cool down because it's boiling hot. And uh, I've got a meeting in a few minutes. Next thing was Lime Crime Velveteens. And in the shade Black Velvet, it is literally a black liquid lipstick. I don't think you need to see this. And then I got another one of their bags. Their tote bags. And this hard piece is the piece that goes on the bottom. So, we're going to just put everything back in there from this guy. There's nothing there is a problem. And there'll be one more liquid lipstick coming. Most of the colors I wanted to re-up, 
were out of stock already. At first, I wasn't even going to give in. I was like, fuck it. You don't need them. You got enough of these lipsticks. But now I'm just kind of like, you know what? Fuck that. And I have to call these people and take a picture of this broken shit later. Because my life isn't complete. So that's how we're going to end this video. Thank you for watching me unpack shit and swipe my eyeballs for 15 minutes. If you sense a lack of energy in me today, you're right. It was a very long weekend and I'm going to have a very long week at work. So, and I have big battles ahead of me because I thought at least I'd be able to get my taxes done yesterday. But with the wrong information on that form, I really looked at it. Not so much. Hopefully I can resolve all these issues and put my big girl pants on and be the grown up I need me to be. Other than that, hopefully you're the grown up you need you to be or the teenager you need you to be. Don't beat yourself up over mistakes, accidents, or situations that are outside of your control, or even the ones that were in your control. Just learn from the lesson and keep it rolling, buddy. So I'm going to get out of here. I'm really liking this purple. This might be what I do today, because I was thinking no makeup today, but um, that, this, this is looking like, but I'm going to do a black dress. That looks just like this big black t-shirt with this over it. So I don't know if that, yeah, fuck it. It, it goes with the, the yellow. Um, I don't care. Anyway, now that I've had that call, talk with myself, caulk with myself. Jesus Christ, I need caffeine, I guess. I'm going to go. I'm going to wash my hands, and I'm going to go to my meeting with my lukewarm coffee now. You try and have a great day. We're all going to need it, and uh, catch you at the next video.